During the process of editing your location breakdown structure in the project, uh, you may introduce non-model based locations, uh, locations that do not have a bounding box associated with them and therefore they will not have any elements linked to them. You can fix this problem by uh, manually assigning a bounding box to a location in your location breakdown structure. And in this video I will explain how you can do that. Defining zones is an example of location editing and this process was explained in an earlier video. During that video we saw how unnamed locations were automatically added to the LBS and also after updating the project how non-model based locations were introduced as a result of the location splitting approach. If desired you can keep the existing locations in your tree for example because you named them already or use them in your schedule and associate a location bounding box with them using the Vico Office painting process. We're in the LBS manager and what we see here is the foundation level with the zones that we defined. Uh, so during the uh, location editing uh, we defined uh, in floor plan view the zones and uh, after editing and updating the project uh, I now have a new unnamed location uh, which I don't want to do anything with and uh, because of that I will delete it from the LBS and I got four zones, uh, zone A, B, C and D and as you can see, uh, zone A does not have a location bounding box associated with it. Now because I only have three zones uh, I would like to use zone A, B and C and get rid of zone D. So to do that, I would like to associate the bounding box that is currently assigned to location zone D uh, with zone A. And to do that, I click zone A, and then I start the paint LBS mode from the LBS ribbon. When I click that, my cursor changes into a paintbrush, and when I hover over uh, the location bounding boxes, I get the information of what the name is, and as I just mentioned I would like to use zone D uh, to become zone A. So when I left click uh, that bounding box will from now on be associated with zone A as you can see here and zone D is now a non-model based location. I can either keep that or I can decide to remove it uh, by uh, deleting it from my LBS. During this video, we looked at the end result of the step in which I defined zones and we saw that two locations did not have a bounding box associated with them. These are non-model based locations which can be the result of the location splitting process. I wanted to keep zone A and use the bounding box of zone D and therefore I used the LBS painting function to reassign the bounding box.